Hola and bienvenido, welcome back to I Just Watched. I'm Joseph and we're talking Super Mario Brothers. From the jump, I can tell you I absolutely love the animation. I knew I would because I loved it in the trailers. So it was just obvious. Let me point that out right now. I was definitely hesitant going into this film and I think it's a good movie. I got to be honest. I think it's a good movie. It's a fun, enjoyable movie for the most part. I think a lot of it is well done. My favorite aspect of this whole movie is the respect, attention to detail, and like the deep dive into the nostalgic lore of all the different video games, from the way you pick your cart to the rainbow bridge to the map when it pops up showing the different kingdoms. The test run being very Super Mario Brothers was cool, but I would have preferred that happen something like along the way, because when they were traveling along the way, other than seeing a horde of Yoshis run by, that was it, like they just walked. There was nothing there. So that part of the adventure I felt like could have been better by actually being part of the adventure, you know, fighting some Koopas and going about it like, you know, the Hammer Bros, just going about it and actually dealing with stuff there versus it's nothing. We get to Donkey Kong's country and Cranky Kong was okay. He was a little too suave for me, but it is, uh, that one was okay. My biggest issue is Donkey Kong. He looked great. Again, animation. Mwah. There was no attempt at voice acting whatsoever. He didn't try to give him a voice or characteristics. It was just him speaking. It was pointless that's i can't stand that i'm not a fan of that chris pratt as mario there's moments when that brooklyn accent was coming in strong and then it would completely dip and you wouldn't have it so if he was able to per like perfect that and really give us that accent consistently i would like it way more but i just need a little bit more emotion from him with those catchphrases with the here we go like if his were like here we go i was like is that it bro like come on you know yahoo he gave us a yahoo i just want a little bit more feeling from him same dude same thing with the homeboy who voiced luigi there was no they casted him because his voice sounds like that I, I guess i get it but there was no attempt the only person who really went in on giving us a character voice was jack black for bowser so there's no question why everyone loves him everyone loves bowser in this movie I'm not the biggest fan of the change in lore for Bowser having this obsession and infatuation with Peach. I kind of liked it when she was just in the way. So he would get rid of her because she had magic. Basically revive the toes after he turned them to stone. However, I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal. That being said, Bowser was amazing. Jack Black killed it. He tried to give us a voice. And there's moments when you hear a bit of Jack Black. I understand that. But 80, 90% of the time, he was giving us this Bowser voice. And it was awesome. I truly loved it. It showed me that you cared enough about the character, the story that you were trying to bring into life versus Seth Rogen being the worst and then homeboy who voiced luigi peaches was okay it was just really just joy's voice so like my biggest issue is there's like no voice acting in this whatsoever almost an animated film with pre-existing lore pre-existing characters just in general any animated film should have some form of voice acting at least a little bit outside of that like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty good. I don't think it's great. It's not like a game-changing animated film for me. I think Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is leaps and bounds better. That movie's amazing. And this one was okay. I enjoyed it. I really like the, the nods, the cameos, the references to everything around it. King Boo, King Babam, was it uh, uh, Pete, Peter, Pete, Petey, the Piranha, Petey, something, the big ass plant. Seeing the villains, I always forget, is it Kamelek, Kamelek, Kamek, the Magic Koopa? I liked him because he's also a big villain, but for the sequel, now that Bowser's mini Bowser, I would like them to use some kind of distraction, but I wouldn't use one of those villains. I'd use like King Arcool as your distraction villain, you know, attacks, you know, Donkey Kong Country and Mario and them go to help. And while that's happening, Kamek, hopefully I'm saying it right, because I can't remember off the top of my head, breaks out Bowser. And what does he do? Instead of just going back to normal, he becomes Kaiju Bowser. And then that's a whole new problem. You have to defeat him. And then at the end, you see a table of villains because the heroes are going to be your heroes from here plus Yoshi. Before I forget, pin in the villain. If we don't get, cause you see a horde of Yoshis and a pink Yoshi stops and looks. And I was like, cool. But then you see the Easter egg of Yoshi himself. But I was like, all right, cool. But I know they already exist. So, okay. So you're going to be the main Yoshi. If we don't get a moment of Mario doing the, in front of like three Yoshis, that's a waste a missed opportunity. Okay. Back to this. All right, they defeat him, blah, 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 with Yoshi, the whole squad. Boom. A table of all the villains come together, which would be a great scene. And they're like, how do we get rid of these Super Mario Brothers? They're ruining everything. And you just see a couple hats hit the table, and it's Waluigi and Wario, and just cut to black, and it, that would be cool. The dive into the power-ups. The only power-up I had an issue with was the fact when he ate the, the power mushroom, he didn't seem to get much bigger. Was everyone so much more bigger than him that he just became normal size instead of becoming bigger and more powerful? But because the reverse is when he eats the blue mushroom and he goes mini, he becomes super, super small. So I feel like the, the balance there was way off. Everything else was cool. Seeing the power-ups from the flame flower, uh, star, 
and the <laughs> raccoon or the cat like it worked and i liked it i really enjoyed it overall i gotta give this movie a high rewatchability i enjoyed it i think the music choices were easy they were safe choices because they just picked bangers which isn't a bad thing but it just you know i love it when they kind of take a little bit of a risk i can definitely be interested in more plus i love the characters i love mario i love the lore with peaches daisy i just that whole thing is great so i'm definitely i mean for christmas christmas you're an idiot for halloween this past halloween i was mario and the homie was luigi but i want to hear thoughts comments questions concerns how do you feel about this movie are you excited for the future is it going to be like nintendo verse like i said i want to hear your thoughts down below love hearing from you but until next time stay safe be well con mucho amor adios